Manila Binando neighborhood is the oldest Chinatown in the world, established in 1594 as one of the Philippine biggest centre of commercial. This is Chinatown. The oldest Chinatown in the world. And Chen is bringing us here for food! For food! Chung Hoi, Pobo Ventures is a foodaholic. Silica was started as a cathedral, or a regular, sorry, it started as a regular church, and now it's a cathedral. For Manila. And earthquake zone again, so it comes down all the time and they rebuild it. When the Chinese migrated here about 400 years ago, this was their Christian church, and still is. Of course, Filipinos are also Christian, so this is their church. It's a Roman Catholic church. This is where the Archbishop has his seat. This Chinatown, I think it's this kind of street. Chinatown Hidden Gems, Kavaha Street is narrow and inconspicuous market area that harbors small eatery, snack store, and even vegetable and fruit vendor. Our first stop is Quick Snack. Founded back in 1967, Quick Snack is known for the known feel and straightforward Indonesian Chinese comfort food. So we're at Quick Snack in uh, China Chinatown in Manila. And this is one of their famous dishes. It's a, a, a tofu, a fried tofu dipped in soy sauce and cilantro and garlic. It's, it's delicious. Very yummy. Yeah. And Chung's about to go crazy. She's so excited. <laughs> very nice. It's very crispy here. Oh, there's one that needs to die right now. It's good. It's very nice, right? Very hot. Very nice. Mm. Hot is good. Very chewy. Quick snack. Very good. It looks it's a lot more than a snack though, isn't it? I thought it's very soft. Very nice. So look at that shrimp in there. Prawns. Yeah. Is it cooked well? Okay. Yeah. Soft and juicy. And... So this onion crunch you think is so good. After the quick snack, we have a full berry, but I still need to continue to find my next good food, which is you will see in a few minutes because it's just in the same street with the quick snack. Here I found. So it's like a dollar sixty for a lumpia. We saw this on TV, so Chang wanted to try, but we're full. I found in the people write a lot on this uh, blog here today. Yeah. So I want to try it. Yeah, we're, we just ate the quick snack over there and we're full, so we're to getting it to go. Yeah. We get the thing and we go. This is a very cute stuff. Here. Very good. Have CCTV up here. Here. Chinatown have a lot a lot of good food but my small tummy is only can eat one thing at a time <laughs> I don't like to wasting food or just eat one bite in front of camera I don't do that so I bought all my food to go home and I will eat in front of you so I, I don't wasting my food 
here is another one famous uh, restaurant see oh, everyone is lining up to go inside to buy food and all eating in the restaurant so it's very tight in Chinatown because it's a free vehicle city been around love it's for hundreds of years seen hundreds anyway we wanted to on our way to the next restaurant we wanted to shoot this entryway over here every Chinatown in the world has one like this this one has like four In Chinatown, I found this is very interesting that Chinese Christian here praying to the Christ and burning the traditional Chinese incense. Well, in the, beside the burning the incense, you also can light the candle as well. This is the best vegetarian restaurant in the Chinatown. As Dan already tried the food and he said it is really delicious. Those display one is all like a buffet style. You can choose three different dishes plus one dish uh, plus one rice. It's not open you just order. I'm done. We are waiting for the dumpling here. It's 17. It's a lot of people queuing out here. But it's very delicious. Two uh, 14 pieces dumpling is 200 peso, which is $4. There is a people waiting here, all the people waiting here, crazy. While well, I'm waiting for my dumpling, I also can see how they prepare the dumpling. It is so fun to watch it. We are visiting the Chinatown right now and it's amazing. It's really... Um, I didn't expect that. No? What do you think? <laughs> I think there's a lot of food here. So Chung's in her element. Not only is there a lot of food here, but she knows what most of it is. Uh, and she's had a lot of it, so she's comparing it to what she's had in her past. And, uh, and one thing is, the Chinatown here is the oldest Chinatown in the world. Yeah, very colorful, interesting part of Manila, and it's. These, these buildings here are, are, are relatively old and... Very, very old. Yeah, this, this, this building here, this ugly one in front of us, is probably only 1940s or something. So we're, in a, we're here waiting for dumplings. That's why we're chatting right now. But, so this area isn't that old, but it's one of the older parts of the city. Uh, this area, Chinatown is... I'm waiting for my dumplings. Yeah. Philippine is really surprised me a lot. But on social media and TV, some people only show the dark side of the Philippines. But in reality, Philippines have beautiful people, some modern cities, breathtaking nature, and delicious food. Chinatown have a lot of the delicious food, and I have it. And I will come back to Chinatown soon. <laughs> I can say that. Chinatown, this Chinatown have the best Chinese food in the Southeast Asia. I mean that a place that have Chinese. Well, this is my last stop in the Chinatown, Shanghai Fried Stew Bao. Look at it, how many people already line up over there for this delicious stew bao. A lot of the travel blogger, the food 
vlogger. Everyone has come here for this seal bar. Well, I would just take away the seal bar and go home and eat. <laughs> This is the lupia. Inside is most of the veggie, bangkong, and the carrots, and the tofu, and 20% is pork. So it's a very nice, uh, like a Mexican burrito. What they eat here, they need to put on the sauce. Let me try. Mm. It's very sweet sauce. Okay, I, want, I want to eat now. It's too bad, you know, in the pandemic, you cannot eat in their store because they have more sauce over there. They have more like a sesame sauce and hot sauce. Now, I only can have a sweet sauce. Mmm, it's very good. Wow, this thing in Chinatown, the food is really good. Very good. This one you must try when you're in Chinatown. I already do all the research. All the food I eat is the best one. <laughs> this is the Gu Chai Pork Dumpling. Dongbei Dumpling. It is inside. Is They say, you know, it's long queue when you're waiting to buy the food over there. And to eat this dumpling, they're supposed to have the hot sauce. But anyway, when you buy it, you know, during the pandemic, what you can get is a sweet sauce. But let me try the original flavor first. Mmm, wow. Wow. Original flavor is the best. The pork inside and the ku chai inside is wow. They put a lot of like a, the, like a spicy, a Chinese spicy inside. So you will taste a little bit mm, like a pepper spicy, black pepper spicy. It's not spicy, but it's bring out the taste. It is so nice. Hmm, I know why. Why people love it. A long queue again, but the food is really good. Okay, this is the Shanghai Fried Siu Pao. You can see they are uh, fly on here. And uh, this one's uh, Shanghai Siu Pao is 30 peso, 30 zero peso. And inside is all the pork inside. It's very famous. Hmm, and I can smell it. It's very nice. But first, I need to try. Mmm, it's very good. I know why they love it. Oh, so good. It's have a long queue on the place they are buying this thing. Mmm, very good, very good. Wow, it's really delicious on this one. I unable to eat over there. So I just bring home, I eat and I tell you. It's all the pork inside with all the um, spring onions so is uh, the taste is very very nice wow definitely this one you need to try when you're in manila the china uh chinatown well thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoy this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye